There's a colour mismatch, a hidden train viewing lounge, and a beef bento box that only the locals know about. And that only means one thing, it's time for Secrets of Shinosaka Station. Now the first secret is something you can see before you even set foot inside the station. Sit on the left side of the Shinkansen if you're heading in from Tokyo for your chance to see an iconic sign on top of one of the surrounding buildings. This is an ad for Kizakure, a sake and beer brewery based in the Fushimi area of Kyoto. The company has advertised in the same spot for over 40 years, often featuring famous actors to promote the company's sake. It always has the phrase, Otsukari-sama, thanking everyone returning to Osaka for a job well done after their business trips to Tokyo. You can get a closer look of the hoarding outside the east exit. Once you arrive at Shinosaka, go take a closer look at the name board on the platform and you might notice something odd. It uses the simple white and orange colour scheme just like all the Shinkansen stations between here and Tokyo. But down on the conventional line platforms, the name boards are blue and white. So what's going on? Well, it's simple. Although we're in a JR West area, which uses blue and white signs everywhere, the Shinkansen here is operated by JR Central, which uses the orange instead. And speaking of oddities, in almost every city I can think of in Japan, subways don't tend to have the best toilets, often being a bit grubby and cramped. But if you're transferring to the subway here at Shinosaka, you'll definitely want to at least take a look inside possibly the cleanest, most spacious bathroom you've ever visited. Back when Osaka Metro was privatised in 2012, the new owners made toilet renovations a big priority. And now, this bright, stylish and capacious example looks like it's straight out of a department store not a subway station, it even won an award from the government, if you can believe such awards really exist. The next secret is so hidden it took me a while to find it the first time, but just follow a train heading in the direction of Esaka, Esaka with an E, and walk all the way to the end of the platform. You'll find this secret lounge, which is a brilliant little place to have a short break with a drink. It offers incredible views of the subway trains arriving and departing. You'd be hard pressed to find a better train viewing spot. The lounge is completely free and surprisingly calm considering its location so it's well worth spending a few minutes here and if you're enjoying this little tour let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Back in the railway station if you head downstairs to the central exit you'll find the stop for the limousine bus to Itami airport but look behind you and you'll see a hidden collection of old locomotive wheels. There's the set of the first driving wheels from a C57 series steam engine built back in the 1940s as well as a set from the very first Shinkansen, the Zero series from the 1960s, back when Shinosaka Station was built. And if you're looking for a different set of wheels, just head back inside and through the ticket gates, because over in the station concourses, you'll usually find a car on display. And today is no exception. With around 80,000 passengers using the Shinkansen here, this is a prime location for advertising, and actually both Shinkansen and conventional line concourses have a car on display. Since Japan's car makers domestic designs are often very different to the international models, it's a great chance to check out something you won't see back home. Now Osaka doesn't get its nickname of Japan's kitchen for nothing, and if you're wanting to max out your foodie experience right up until you catch your Shinkansen out of here, you'll want to head over to Noren Meguri. There's a vast selection of local dishes on offer here, including of course okonomiyaki and takoyaki, but understandably this is a popular place, so allow plenty of time to eat and don't miss your train. Or you could visit the next secret, which is outside the ticket gates and downstairs. If you've already sampled the world famous Kobe beef on your trip, this last spot will be right up your street. In the underground shopping area, you can find a branch of Suehiro selling Omi beef bento boxes. Omi is the old name for what is now Shiga Prefecture, the area northeast of Kyoto. Omi beef is said to be right up there in terms of quality with both Kobe and Matsuzaka beef. With a great taste, melt in your mouth fat and tenderness, even though it has a lot of marbling. Those in the know stop off here to get some dinner, so don't be surprised if there's a bit of a queue. I picked up this roast beef bento box for the journey home, which came with some sweet sauce, rice and pickles, and I can say quite honestly that it's the best lunch box I've ever eaten on the Shinkansen by a long, long way. And if you want to explore more secrets hidden in stations on your trip, check out this playlist here. See ya!